we're going to do a little art experiment and we're going to do it using these now these here are mood stickers so um, I bought this um, a couple of weeks ago this is uh, an Asus EPC it's one of those little netbook computers which is actually surprisingly useful I bought it pretty much as a toy just to just to see whether or not they were any good and I thought well okay since it's my little toy computer I thought I might have a go at decorating it myself these are books of 90 mood stickers and you can put your own pictures on them so in this case if you look here um, I'll do a little close-up of that. Uh, you can see that we've got a, a big picture split up into lots and lots of little stickers. So in just a moment we're going to be taking these stickers and sticking them on the back of this beastie here. Uh, but before we do that let's just uh, jump over into Photoshop and see how we go about splitting those stickers up. We've got the image that we're going to use to decorate our netbook uh, opened here in Photoshop. And the first thing that I want to do is resize this to the size of the back of my netbook. Now I know from having measured mine that my uh, image is going to need to be 11 inches wide by 7 inches high. Now there's a really quick shortcut to do that. If you go into the crop tool here and then you choose in the top here um, 11 inches and 7 inches. Uh, and leave the resolution alone because we're going to want to let it just uh, um, resize the image without resampling the pixels. We want to keep the same number of pixels as we've got. And then if I just click and drag across the image, of course this crop ratio is going to stay at the ratio we've selected. And I can say, right there, let's say that's the sort of uh, part of the image that I want to use. Um, okay, I've, I've placed it where I want. If I press return now, um, that has now resampled, uh, resized the image um, to an 11, so you can see in the ruler across the top there, I'm, I've got an inches ruler set. We can see that it's 11 inches wide, and if I was to move this out of the way, we can see that the um, vertical size is 7 inches high. So that's a nice quick way of resizing the image. So the next step is to cut this up into slices, and we're going to do that by using guides. Now I've zoomed right in because it feels like a little bit more accurate to do it this way. Now with your rulers turned on, you click on the ruler and drag the ruler over until you see the little the little dotted line in the ruler is moving with my cursor. I want to put that bang on that one inch mark and let go and then do the same thing for this one. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way across. I'm going to put a guide at each of the inch marks. So I'm just doing the same thing going down now. I'm going to go down to three. And that should be the last one. There we go. Right, so zooming back out. I'm zooming with my scroll wheel there. Now, there's a couple of different ways of turning those... those um, uh, guides into slices. If I drag my toolbar back on, um, underneath the crop tool we have a slice tool and we could click and drag each slice and draw it out by hand. Or instead we could click this button here in the uh, in the option bar, slices from guides. And if I click that you can see it turns all of those slices into guides for us so that we've got in this case if we go down to the bottom one 77 which is what we should have 11 by 7 77 individual stickers all nicely sliced up for us so that really it's as simple as that when it comes to uh, slicing our image the next thing to do of course is to save that image out so we want to save for web and devices and uh, when we go into this menu it's going to first of all say this image is too big for the safe for web devices um, dialog you may run out of memory don't worry about it just press yes um, if you've got a decent amount of memory on your computer it'll be fine okay there we are we've it's uh, opened our image at the right uh, in the safe web devices dialog if i now double click the hand tool here that's going to show me the entire image and i'm going to want to click the slices tool here in the safe web devices and I'm going to draw over the whole image. That's going to select all 77 slices. Um, and it's important we do that because you can see the preset here says PNG24. I want to change this, in this case, to JPEG High. And what that's doing is it's changing the output format for all the stickers that we've just selected to whatever preset I choose. Now we're going to leave the image size alone. We are going to let it convert to sRGB because most printers will expect, most printing companies will expect you to send them images in sRGB format. And we're going to say save. 
And what this is going to do, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it My Stickers. Now create that folder, I've got a My Stickers folder and inside that it will create an images. Um, and I want to, want to give it a name, let's call it Lily Stickers. And we're going to choose the selected slices only and we're going to say save. And that now is going to save out those images. Just take a moment. There we go. Right, let's go and have a look at the Lily, that uh, my stickers folder. There we are. Now, we've got a whole bunch of stickers in there. We've got 77 stickers in there. If I select all of those, we can see on the index sheet that all of our images have been sort of sliced up and saved out. This now is exactly what we need to upload to um, the uh, moo.com website. So as you can see, I uh, I ordered my sticker books and there are the two sticker books that have arrived. So let's get started and start sticking those stickers on the back of this little beastie. Stuck in a line, giving up trying, as I haven't the time. I'm walking the dog, maybe it's wrong. King of the roadhouse, that's where I belong. Yeah. 